Russia's aggression against Ukraine has been going on for almost a year. If you remember, NATO military experts were absolutely sure that the Ukrainian army would not last longer than 72 hours. But the situation is developing absolutely unpredictably. Also, none of the experts could foresee that this war would gradually become the most technologically advanced military conflict in the history of mankind. Yes, the whole world now sees tired soldiers in flooded and icy trenches, groves mowed down by bullets and shrapnel, bombed out cities and steppes. But against the background of the landscape of the First World War, samples of ultra-modern weapons appear on the front. Due to the high secrecy, this weapon remains behind the scenes for the time being. But very soon, you will find out the true reasons for the successful confrontation of David against Goliath, Ukraine against Russia. On the battlefields near Kherson and Bakhmut, along with the technologies of the First and Second World Wars, ultra-modern methods of warfare are actively used. The Washington Post was the first to notice this. True, these articles are not talking about robots, but about artificial intelligence. And although further we will talk about robots, a few words should be said about artificial intelligence, because the two topics are closely related. So, to analyze data from the battlefield and select targets, Ukrainian commanders used the artificial intelligence of the American company Palantir. The Ukrainian military is being trained to use the system in Germany and Poland. The system analyzes data from open and closed sources. Public information is supplied by commercial satellites and mapping services. Through closed channels, data is received from military satellites, shooting from drones, images transmitted by scouts in the field. Artificial intelligence is able to identify Russian military equipment in images, tanks, armored vehicles, air defense systems and MLRS, convoys with fuel and ammunition. Mud, camouflage, snow and bad weather are no obstacle for Palantir. The system doesn't make mistakes. Palantir sees through obstacles and provides a picture with the help of augmented reality technologies. With the help of Palantir, the Ukrainian military analyzes the balance of power on the front line. Artificial intelligence suggests which weapons are best used in a particular situation – missiles, artillery, or drones. At the same time, Palantir predicts the result of each possible attack. The user's task is to select a scenario. It was with the help of the American program that the Ukrainian troops managed to liberate the cities and the villages of the Kharkiv region. We have already talked about this counter-offensive of the Ukrainian troops in a previous video that you'll find on our channel. Palantir is not the only tactical program. The Ukrainian army is actively using its own developments. This is a tactical situational awareness platform called Delta. In the fall of 2022, this platform was presented to NATO generals at a special private event, Tied Spirit, and received high marks. The Delta Battle Management System also helps Ukrainian fighters detect Russian troops and classify enemy equipment. The program gives adequate recommendations for the neutralization of objects. The Delta played an important role in the liberation of Kherson from Russian troops. Such smart systems are compared with strategic nuclear weapons, because they radically change the situation not only at the tactical, but also at the operational level. Russian hackers tried to hack Delta. The cyber invasion lasted 13 minutes. However, thanks to the multi-level access system, Russian hackers were unable to get a hold of information above the level of the squad leader. And now, the first batch of autonomous combat vehicles has arrived in Ukraine. The supply of combat robots has become a logical continuation of the further digitalization of war. You probably imagined huge transformer robots? To be honest, we thought so too at first. However, everything turned out to be the opposite. Ukraine received miniature ACW tankettes. There were seven units in the first batch, seven more robots will be delivered later. Robots are already participating in the battles in the east of Ukraine. Movement and fire are controlled remotely, so another important advantage of a good Ukrainian fighter is the talent of a gamer. ACW came from Germany. A spokesman for the country's defense ministry declined to comment on technical details due to privacy and security concerns, but we managed to find out something. 
ACW is an intermediate result of Rhein Metal's Weisel Wingman project. It's one of the world's leading manufacturers of traditional combat and technical vehicles, guns, and ammunition. And recently, Rheinmetall Defense has become a world leader in the development of next-generation robotic, remote, and autonomous combat vehicles. ACW received the platform of the famous German tankette armored weapons carrier, AWC, Weisel. This machine has been tested and proven during various exercises and trials in the U.S. and German Army. Please note that the letters of the abbreviation for the new robot car remain the same. Only W and C have changed places. But the content has changed dramatically. ACW – Autonomous Combat Warrior What else is known about this little monster? The tank at length is about 11 feet. This is less than a Mini Cooper. It is very problematic to notice such an object on the battlefield, especially if camouflage is used. The mass of the ACW depends on the equipment and weapons, but in any case, the weight of the robot remains in the range of 2.5 to 5 tons, so it's easy to transport it by any truck. However, the ACW itself handles any road surface well. Highway speeds can reach 60 miles per hour. On a road, it also holds up well. The machine crosses a ford with a depth of 1.6 feet and is able to cross trenches with a width of 3.9 feet. For air transportation, helicopters Boeing CH-47 Chinook and Sikorsky CH-53 Sea Stallion are used. ACW is placed either inside the fuselage or on an external sling, and the Lockheed C-130 Hercules military transport plane can easily fit two ACWs at once. Sturdy and reliable construction, that's good, but the main advantage of the combat robot is its electronic filling. Instead of traditional mechanical and hydraulic transmission units, the ACW received an electric transmission. It is the first armored tracked vehicle in the world to be certified to use drive-by wire. In addition, the drive-by wire system is triple redundant, so the ACW is extremely durable and resilient. German engineers know a lot about reliable mechanisms. The machine has excellent maneuverability on various surfaces due to its low weight and low ground pressure. The ACW can be operated manually, remotely, or completely autonomously by programming waypoints on a tablet. The robot is able to independently go around obstacles and can also follow the leader in convoy mode. On the battlefield in Ukraine, the mission of the ACW is to support infantry during assault operations. The robot breaks through the trenches or other advanced positions of the enemy, maneuvers, and covers the actions of the assault team with intense fire from its guns. While the enemy is hiding from heavy fire, the attackers capture a trench or dugout. ACW will save many lives of Ukrainian soldiers, especially when assaulting dominant heights. The ACW combat module supports the MK-19 grenade launcher and 12.7mm, 7.62mm, and 5.56mm machine guns. The kit includes a sight, a daylight video camera, a thermal imager, and a laser rangefinder. The sight is equipped with an integrated control system and ballistic correction. The firing angle in the horizontal plane is 360 degrees. Vertical angle from negative 20 degrees to plus 60 degrees. This is a Crows Universal Combat Module, which is used on many combat vehicles of NATO countries. The second option for using the combat robot is combat in rural areas or low-rise buildings. The robot takes under fire control of an object, a headquarters, a firing point, or a temporary location of an enemy unit. While the ACW is firing and preventing the enemy from leaving the premises, the assault team surrounds the object and forces the enemy soldiers to lay down their weapons. In such a scenario, the robot will save the lives of not only Ukrainians, but also Russians. Human Rights Watch opposes the use of robots on the battlefield because of their inhumanity. As you can see, this is not entirely true. The ACW is most vulnerable in conditions of heavy combat in high-rise buildings, as was the case in Maripol. Under such conditions, the robot cannot realize its main advantages, speed and maneuverability. There is a danger of receiving critical damage from a direct hit at close range from a grenade launcher. The armored hull of the ACW is capable of protecting critical components and equipment from shrapnel and small arms fire. 
but more powerful ammunition will be fatal for it. ACW robots are the first signs. The motion control system of this robot is universal. This is the know-how of Rhine Metal Defense Engineers. It can be installed on various existing tracked and wheeled transport systems. For example, tactical trucks Boxer, Lynx, or HX. That is, with the help of a universal control module and unique software, you can turn any armored car into a robot. This suggests that, in a few months, we will see not just a few, but dozens of autonomous and remotely controlled killer robots on the fronts of Ukraine. And then it will be impossible to hide this fact. The low cost of retrofitting existing equipment will further contribute to this. So far, ACW is used by fighters of special units of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Before the start of massive use of robots, one needs to understand how this technology will fit into the norms of combat. Surely, new concepts of combat tactics will soon appear, which will be based on real combat experience in Ukraine. And then something will happen that should happen. The close interaction of artificial intelligence and robots. The effectiveness of combat with such a tandem will increase markedly. Plantier and Delta systems will be able to better take into account the capabilities of autonomous machines when predicting the outcome of an attack. The first such cases can be expected around the middle of 2023. Stay tuned so as not to miss a new era in the history of mankind.